In this video, we're going to talk about continuity of composite functions. Let's take an example. Let's say we have this function y equals to x square. It's an upward parabola. This is continuous throughout. And let's say we have a different function y equals to sine x. This is also continuous throughout. Now let's say we form a third function that looks like this. This is y equals to sine of x square. x square is the inner function, sine x is the outer function. What's happening here is the input talks to x square, we get some output, that output talks to sine x and then we get the final output. What's happening here is these two functions are continuous throughout, they are forever continuous. This is making this composite function also continuous throughout. And we can generalize this. If we have two functions gx and fx and both of them are continuous, then their composite function f of g of x is also continuous. Let's break this down. Okay, we have y equals to x square. Let's look at it at a point x equals to 2. Now we can see that this function is continuous at x equals to 2. It is because the left hand limit and right hand limit are approaching 4 which is the output. Awesome. Now we look at the other function sine of x. This is the graph. Let's check the continuity of sine x at x equals to 4. Why are we doing x equals to 4? Because 4 is what we're getting as an output from y equals to x square. This blue function is spitting out 4 which is being absorbed by this red function. So let's check the continuity at 4 and we can see that sine x is actually continuous at 4. So this is working for us and this is working for us which means we can say that sine of x square is continuous at x equals to 2. Because here two things are happening. The input talks to the blue function. This is continuous, which means we're getting the result 4. And this 4 is talking to this function, red function, and this is also continuous, which is giving us the output of minus 0.7568. Now, because this blue function is continuous at 2, and because this red function is continuous at the output that we get when we put in x equals to 2 here, this green function is continuous at x equals to 2. We can generalize this. We can say that this works for a specific value x equals to 2. We can say that this works for a general value x equals to c. If you have a function gx which is continuous at c and we have a different function fx which is continuous at g of c which is the output that we get from g when we input c. So these two are connected. If this is true and this is true then we can say that a composite function f of g of x where gx is the inner function and fx is the outer function, this will be continuous at x equals to c. And as a special case, if this works for all the points in the domain, if gx is forever continuous, is continuous throughout, and fx is forever continuous, continuous throughout, then we don't have to look at a specific point. We can see that for all the points in the domain, their composite function f of g of x will be continuous throughout. Now we can use this result to prove the continuity of a lot of composite functions. Let's take a few examples. Suppose we have this function fx equals to mod of 1 minus x plus mod of x. We have to show that this is a continuous function. The domain is x belongs to all real numbers. How can we do this? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, so let's break this down into two functions, an outer function and an inner function. The outer function is mod of x. So hx is equal to mod of x. What's happening inside this mod? Well, we have another function, which is one minus x plus mod of x. So the output of that function is becoming the input of this outer function mod of x. So hx is this and gx is this. Are these two functions continuous? Let's check. gx is one minus x plus mod of x. So it's made up of these three functions and we're adding and subtracting these functions. And here we have hx that's mod of x. In the previous videos, we have proved that mod of x is a continuous function. And we've also seen that by algebra of continuous functions, adding and subtracting continuous functions give us continuous functions. So this means gx is also continuous. So this is continuous, this is continuous, their composite function, this fx, this will also be continuous. And this is how we can prove the continuity of this function fx that's equal to mod of and within the mod, we have one minus x plus mod of x. Now let's use this for these four functions. 
show that fx equals to cos of x square is a continuous function, mod of cos x is continuous, sine of mod of x is continuous, and mod of x minus mod of x plus 1 is a continuous function. Pause the video, figure out the inner and outer functions, figure out whether they are continuous or not. Okay, let's do this together. For this function, cos of x square, the outer function is cos x and the inner function is x square. So together they are forming cos of x of square. g of h of x is cos x square. Now individually both of these functions are continuous. Cos x is continuous and x square is continuous. So we can say that their composite function is also continuous. Let's take the next one. Mod of cos of x. The outer function is mod x and the inner function is cos of x. Together they are forming g of h of x that's mod of cos of x. Now mod x is continuous and cos x is continuous which is making this composite function mod of cos of x continuous. Similarly in the next one we have the outer function as sin of x and the inner function as mod of x. So g of h of x is sin of mod of x. Now sin x is continuous and mod x is continuous which makes this function continuous as well. What about the last one? Here there is no outer or inner. Here we are having algebra of continuous functions. We have mod x as a continuous function and mod of x plus 1 as a continuous function. Now both of them are being subtracted, this minus this, red minus blue. And by algebra of continuous functions, we can say that their difference is also a continuous function. And this is how we prove continuity of composite functions.